All right. Uh, Great hello, morning. Welcome to this our inaugural kickoff of uh, the uh, Modexus on the Move Empowerment Trainings. Um, we're, we're glad you're here. Um, really quickly, uh, I'd love to hear, just tell us your name, where you're Zooming in from, and uh, one exciting thing that's happened to you this week. Why don't we start with uh, Rick, why don't you start off? Why don't you kick us, kick us off? <laughs> okay, I'm from uh, Covington, Louisiana, which is just north of New Orleans. Um, exciting thing that happened to me. I guess I just finished another song that I wrote. So we're hopefully that'll be coming on uh, YouTube soon. I love it. I, send me a link. I want to hear it. That's awesome. I didn't know you were a musician. Okay. Yeah. What do you play? I write uh, contemporary Christian music. Uh, I play and guitar. Nice. Very good. Yeah. I have a friend of mine that, that's doing uh, guitar. He's actually a drummer, but now you learn to play guitar and he's doing uh, stuff in his church uh, um, church. Uh, it's not like choir, I guess, church band, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Awesome. I well, played on a worship band for about 35 years. Now I'm just doing my own thing. Now you're doing your thing. That's a good thing. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Love it. Liz, tell us uh, where you're Zooming in from and one exciting thing that's happened to you this week. Okay, I'm zooming in from Westfield, Indiana, north side of Indianapolis. And exciting this week is I'm in the midst of um, a big kind of a uh, little bit of a renovation with an upstairs area, making it into a full apartment um, with the life changes that are happening in my life. And also, though, I'm really excited. I've got a brand new advocate that she's now she has her third customer and I'm so proud of her. And she's been navigating her back office and she's um, doing a really great job. So that's been really fun this week amidst the construction confusion here. Sure. <laughs> Duplication is great. I love it. I love it. Fantastic. Uh, who wants to go next? Tracy, Lori, Kathy? Go ahead and who wants to jump on and tell us where you uh, zoom in from? Lori, there you go. Hey, well, I'm here at my uh, local Winter Park Office Depot for Modexus. <laughs> I love and it. just just doing some work here for the team and um, the, the whole staff here knows me and um, I'm just in process of uh, getting some new blinds from a golden retriever that did some damage but um, just and I'm starting a new job very soon um, and just staying really busy with Modexas and the team we've got back-to-back -back events Saturday we're doing a market um, Saturday from nine to one, I'm doing that with Sheris and then we'll be at Panera, um, from three 30 to five, uh, sure. to share. I yeah, love it. So. I love it. Congratulations. Awesome. Yeah, Exciting sure. News. Thanks. Very cool. All right. Tracy, Kathy, who wants to share next? I know Tony was on. Uh, this, is Kathy. Kathy. this is Kathy. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. Indy. I and, love it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And um, probably I haven't had a lot of insight, but I, but I, um, I, I'm just getting over uh, having supposedly COVID again. So that's a little exciting getting out of quarantine. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Don't, don't, you don't, you don't necessarily trust all those tests. Uh, they're not as accurate as they make you think they are. They are. So. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I do the little quotations COVID like they say, but. It was more of a sinus infection as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, good. Glad you're on the mend. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, excellent. Tracy, do you uh, want, want to uh, tell us where you're Zooming in from? I'm Zooming in from Largo, Florida. All right. Welcome. 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 What's one great thing that's happened for you this week? Mm, not much. <laughs> Well, if if one thing did possibly happen for you that was exciting, what could it have, what might it have been? My my son's braids seem like they're getting better taking the products. Okay, son's taking the products, getting good results. Fantastic! I love it. I love it. You know, I look at it this way: every day above ground is a great day. So that's that's how that's a great way to start start your day um, and uh, get it rolling. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for everyone introducing yourselves. And we're going to kind of get this thing started. I'm just going to minimize the screen here a little bit. So, um, how do you like? How do you guys like that the, the graphic that uh, Modex has put together? The, the November graphic. That's pretty awesome. So uh, I, I love. They're always bringing us new things every single week, every single month to help us 
give us the tools we need to share the Modexus message, whether it's on the products, whether it's part of being an advocate or combinations of all of it. That's what it's all about. So today we're talking about an empowered mindset. And, you know, Randy, we just came off of a, a phenomenal uh, customer building masterclass. Uh, I think there was about 29 of us on there. Um, and that was exciting. Uh, a lot of great things happened off of that. Before that, we were on the, the LinkedIn masterclass. And uh, we realized that, you know, there's a big hunger uh, for having, sharing knowledge, sharing strategy, sharing things that we know work with, with the field so that they can continue growing and expanding their vibrant and um, very you know exciting uh, uh, Modexus business, whether you're focused on the uh, focusing more on the product side of things and building a vibrant customer base, or you're focusing on building a a network of advocates or a combination thereof. You know it's all here for you. So I'm glad you're here. We're going to kind of get things started. So um, don't wish it was easier. Wish it were wish you were better. We kind of closed off with the last masterclass with that quote, and you know what you all did not disappoint. We are so proud of every one of you. We're having a record-breaking month in many categories. Um, and I'm looking at these, the, 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 the list, the scoreboard here. Um, it's phenomenal. Congratulations. I see some, a few of our leaders here, um, Lori Connell and Rick McGrew and Liz Giesland um, are on this, uh, on here. And what, what I'm, I'm really proud of the fact that over half of the winner circle uh, members, advocates were in the master class. So you took what we shared and you ran with it and um, you know, you're taking action and that's phenomenal. So I'm very, very proud of you all. Um, and I wanna, I was, was gonna do this um, and bring, pull up this here. This is, uh, uh, there's so much here. I mean, besides the winner circle, we've got so many people that are one or two people away customers away from being in the winner circle. Guess what? If you got one, you can get two. You can get another one. And if you can get two, you can get another one. It, it really can be that simple. And we're going to that's what we're talking about today, mindset, because um, I think as human beings, we complicate things way too much than they really have to be. But I'm so proud of everyone that's on this list and every one of you that are on this call, this Zoom today, because of the fact that you're taking action. You're here. You're doing things that other people are not. And uh, we're gonna continue doing these on a monthly basis. We may even do more. We may have to do another masterclass here in the next month or two um, and get this thing rolling for everybody because this is really what it's all about. It's all about all of you living the life that you choose, that you desire, that you wanna see happen. And uh, it's exciting. So, uh, you know, Randy wanted me to make sure I congratulated all of you. He is so proud of every one of you uh, that is helping, working together to make this uh, the best month we've ever had, both in, in customer recruiting and volume. We are so close, we're we're stones throw away and we got a couple of days left here. So let's just jump right into it. New mindset, guess what equals new results? Um, you know, I think we saw that in the masterclass and that really is what life is all about. We live our lives twice, first between our ears, then between our hours. And if we can get this, let's in between our ears, correct. What happens between our hours almost takes care of itself. And hopefully after today's training, you'll understand that and be very crystal clear about that. So let me ask you a question. Everyone take yourselves off mute. What do you see here in this picture? Well, the glass half full, of course. Okay. <laughs> the glass half full. Half full, right. Okay, because because there's two ways to look at this. There's is it half full, or is it half empty? And and I think a lot of individuals in this world right now it, to see this see the see everything is half empty, and they're missing the boat. They're living a life miserable, and they don't have to be. For God, it doesn't matter what's happening around us. We create our own world. We create our own thought process. We create our own universe when it comes to our lives, and. Focusing on what you focus on becomes your reality. So do you have an optimistic perspective, like the glass half full, which I'm, I guess all of you are have that? It was kind of a rhetorical question, but I was making a point because you wouldn't be here if, if, if you didn't think the glass was half full. Uh, it wasn't half full. You know, however, a lot of people have a pessimistic perspective on life. You know, so what is the perspective? 
that you're looking at it because everything is about perspective. Uh, I, you know, I always, I always go back to the, the that first movie that one of those very first favorite movies I ever saw when I was uh, eight years old, which was Star Wars. You know, and actually it was, it was actually Empire, Empire Strikes Back a couple of years later when Luke was talking to Obi Wan Kenobi on Dagobah, talking about why didn't you tell him that you know uh, what, what's going on? And it was like it was, it's all about a perspective. It's about your truths, um, and it's all about perspective, and it really is. Anything that that happens to you in, in your world in life, it's ten percent um, what happens to you. It's ninety percent of how you respond to it, um, and it's been proven time and time again. So if you have an optimistic perspective on life, guess what? Life's going to be working for you in in a, in a very powerful way. If it's a pessimistic perspective, you, you're going to be challenged. So I, I challenge everybody to not just see every you know one thing like your business or your relationship or your health but try to see everything from the perspective of optimism versus pessimism optimistically look at everything with e with every challenge there's an opportunity out there they've proven it time and time again you know just look i mean look at just going but go back to the great depression you know the world it, it was like the world was coming to an end yet there was there were there were tons of people that turned it in, into uh, a, 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 a opportunity and thrived from there and, 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 and their families thrived as well. So it's all about how you see the world and what we do with that. So that's what we're gonna kind of dive into here. So do you have an operative perspective on life, on your business, on your relationships, on affiliate, what affiliate marketing is, on network marketing, on sales, all the different aspects. You can drill this down into so many different things and look at, um, maybe you're optimistic on 90% of things in your life, but there's a couple things that maybe you're don't, not as optimistic about, and that's that could be holding you back. You know, if you are optimistic about life and business and relationships, but you're you're a little pessimistic on affiliate marketing because you haven't learned things yet, or you haven't um, spent time with mentors to show you um, what's possible and what what life could be, you might have a pessimistic outlook on it because. You just don't know any better. And that's where creating this uh, a, a empowered mindset uh, is, is so key. Um, and that can empower you to and take you to a whole nother level of your Modexus business, of your life in general, of whatever it is that you want in life. So do you tell yourself, I can do it or I can't? Because you, the words you think to yourself and you say to yourself, that's what becomes your tapes. You know, we... We live a lot of our lives autonomously. We're on automatic pilot a lot of times. And what, what what's running that is is the things that we run in, in between our ears. And, and there's tapes that are running. And if you've got tapes that are telling you you can't do something, it's going to be more challenging than if you have tapes running through your mind that I can do it. So, um, you know, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Henry Ford said that, and it is so true. You know, regardless, of what, however you look at it, um, that's what it's going to be. So why not think you can? Why not embrace life and have that thought process and that perspective of optimism, of infinite possibilities, that you are at the right place at the right time in your life, in, in your personal life, in your business life, in your Modexus life, all of it. So what do you feel in your soul? Do you feel abundant or do you feel lack? And the reason I'm using this word feel for a reason. See, thoughts are powerful. I really believe, I know for a fact, thoughts become things. Thoughts have energy. Thoughts have a frequency. They're, they've proven it time and time again. Quantum physics is, is, is blowing thing, people, people's socks off because of what they're able to prove. Of things that we already kind of already knew for, for many, many years. Napoleon Hill wrote about it in Think and Grow Rich back in the early 1900s. But when you feel something and you feel a strong emotion to something, that magnifies that thought. So if you have a, a thought of abundance and you, 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 you visualize it, you see it, and you can feel um, positive feelings towards it, joy, happiness, excitement, enthusiasm. My grandfather was, was classic. My grandfather actually was, uh, used to uh, um, uh, correspond with uh, Napoleon Hill and, and many other people, Mr. Conant, from Nightingale Conan, a lot of these individuals. And um, 
you know, his big word was enthusiasm. You want to tackle the world with enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is going to be what's going to set the sales of your life. And I think I kind of, I'm very grateful for the lessons he's taught me because it kind of put me on the path of finding um, the things in life that can really make a huge difference and some things I'm going to share with you here today. Uh, so what do you feel? Uh, and, and if you're not feeling enthusiastic, excitement, a joy, love, happiness, passion, um, all those things, um, they're a choice. And we're going to talk about that here and, 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 as, we, as we go through this, uh, this training today, this masterclass. So um, do you think of things as I'm possible or it's impossible? When you say I am, that is a very powerful thought trigger in your mind. Uh, when you when you say I am um, anything, whether it's positive or negative, you are adding some major, major rocket soul fuel to that thought. So think of everything as I am possible. I am possible, not impossible. Nothing is impossible um, in this world unless you choose it to be so. Does that make sense? Is, 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 is there, am I am I on, on track with everything? Everyone everyone understand? Everyone get it? Yes. Through? Yes. Totally. Awesome. Thanks, Lori. All right. So, the most important six inches in the battlefield between our ear is between our ears. You know, I, I'm a mentor many years ago taught me says Marcus, you live your life twice: first between your ears, then between your hours. And if you can get this, what's in between your ears, correct in alignment, uh, focused with positivity focused on where you want, where you choose to want to go, the things that happen in your hours mostly take care of themselves. You know, the universe has our back. If we'll do the little things, the universe will take care of the big things. Absolutely unequivocally. That's just, that's just the law of the universe. That's how it works. You know, the universe has our back. You may want to call, say God has my back, whatever, whatever, whatever phraseology works for you. Um, that's what, that's, that's just how, that's how it is. So if we can just get this 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 in right in between our ears, the rest of it's gonna we're gonna fall into play. So I want to ask you, what do you why? What what is your why? What do you want out of your Modex's business? And, and this is not a rhetorical question. I, I want you guys to pull out a pen and paper and write down what is it that you want out of your business? What is it that you're striving for? You know and I, you know, I, I've got, a, I've got a sign on my wall. that says, if your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. Um, and I, I really believe that, you know, we've got to take it always to the next level. What is it? You know, maybe it's more time with your family. Maybe it's, maybe it's be able to do things that you want to do with with your loved ones. You know, maybe it's contributing more to causes that you believe in or, or your, your church band or whatever, whatever, whatever is important to you. You know, the what Modexis does is give us tools and freedom to be able to create the life that you want to live. So getting clear about what do you want out of your business is, is so powerful. And then what are you willing to do to get that? And it's not as big of a thing as you think it is. We create, you know, we, we sometimes we start projects. I'm, I'm guilty of it as too. You know, I start a project and I start looking at it and I start looking at this massive thing that I'm, that I got to accomplish. And when I look at it that way, it's it's overwhelming. And if you have too many overwhelming things, your body just shuts down, at least for me, my mind shuts down. So I break it down into, 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 the, into the small chunks. And when I do that, I start focusing on it. I am so productive and I get so much done and I accomplish so many things and I make things happen because that's what I'm focusing on. That's the, And so that's I'm, I'm willing to break it down and do that. So what are you willing to do to get what it is that you want, your why? Um, and that's, and then that, that's really, uh, is the crux of it. You know, if your why is big enough, the how to really doesn't matter. I had a, 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 a mentor many years ago, Bob Middleton that shared that with me. And, and, and I think at the, at the time I was only 25 years old at the time when I got started in this industry, um, I didn't quite understand it hundred percent as I do now. Now I do. If, if, if you know why you're doing something, the how to takes care of itself. The how-to falls into place. Um, give you an example. This is a, a great example. Um, say you're getting ready to, to purchase a car, right? A new car. And you decide that I really want a purple Volkswagen. 
whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, as soon as you make that decision, even before you buy the car, guess what's going to happen? You're going to start driving around, going to work, going to shopping, doing running errands, doing those things. And you're going to start seeing that car on a, on, on a much grander scale, much more often. Guess why? Because your mind is, is focusing on it and you're seeing him. They were always there, but you weren't, you weren't paying attention to it. You weren't seeing it. So when your why is big enough, your mind tunes into what it is that you need to make that happen. Does that make sense? And so that is that's one of the that's one of the biggest reasons why this is so important. The how-to doesn't matter. We've got all the tools, we've got all the training, we've got all those things in place to help you succeed. Uh, so the how-to, the key is why and your willingness to do it. You know, having a burning desire, being willing to work and be teachable. That is that that's what it's all about. Um, and so let's get crystal clear. So I want, we're going to do a little exercise here. Um, I'm going to take a sip of my electrolyte drink because my mouth gets, I start talking, rambling on, and then my mouth gets dry. Um, so I want you to get, we're going to get crystal clear and I want you to work on exercise here. I started doing this years ago. Um, actually one of the very first times I, I did this was at a Tony Robbins seminar before I'd even gotten to my first network marketing business. And it asked us to look at um, look at this whole big picture. It was like a big quadrant, a sheet, huge sheet of paper. And it 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 was it, it basically we had to map out the different areas of our life. And this out of, out of this giant sheet of paper, my box was like this small, you know, it, it, was, it was it was it was almost like didn't even register on the scale based on what it is that I was capable of and what I, what I, where I wanted my life to be kind of thing. And, you know, sometimes you have to take a leap of faith. And uh, I'm going to share a little story with you. It's, it's kind of how it happened. To, to get to that seminar, it was called Life Mastery. Um, it was very expensive. Um, it was, uh, I think it was like $7,000 per person. And I decided to take me and my, and my wife at the time. Um, and I didn't have the cash flow to do it. However, I did have a little bit of stock left over. Uh, that my dad had given me and um, everyone thought I was absolutely out of my mind to sell the stock, to go and do the seminar that was going to go over. It was like three, three sessions over 14 days. And I said, you know what? I, I, I just I had certainty in my mind. I'm like, I know this is going to make a difference. I, you know, it's, I, I'm going to do it. And I did it. Um, and you know what? It's interesting because had I not sold that and invested in my, in my business and in, in, in me, me personally, that stock stock tanked. It went from thirteen dollars a share down to like a dollar, less than a dollar a share. I would have lost it anyway. Well, so I took the leap of faith. I I had conviction of what I wanted to do, and I and I and I ran with it. And my life has been ever since changed because of it. Because I wouldn't be here today talking to you all had that not happened. And because I tried multiple other businesses off the ground, get them off the ground running. But when I got crystal clear and I started doing the things that needed to happen. Within uh, a year and a half period of time, I was introduced to my first company, and within so, I'm gonna say 14 to 16 months of being with that company, 90% of what I had written down and and, and visualized and put in, in into writing from that little box into a great big boxes uh, became a reality. So, I you know I'm not sharing with you anything that I'm not done personally. And that I know works. So you want to get crystal clear of what that why is. And you want to picture it in your mind. And I'm going to actually we're walk you through this. These are kind of bullet points. Um, I want you to visualize that, what your life would look like if the reality of what you're trying to achieve was, was, was happening it's, it, as if it's already there, right? And when you do that, you don't have to, you don't have to spend all day meditating you know, like like monks in on you know up up on a mountainside, whatever. Five minutes a day is all all you need to do. Again, the small little things. Um, surround yourself with things that 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 remind you of uh, of what it is you're trying to achieve. So maybe it's um, sayings that you put around your house. Maybe it's creating a vision board where you take pictures of things that remind you of what you're trying to achieve, where you're looking to go, the life that you want to be living. Um, and, and so forth and so on and create a mastermind. So 
Um, let's talk about infinite possibilities because that's really what it's all about. And I'm going to share some out, out of my own journal because I've done this uh, multiple times. I'm actually getting ready to do it again uh, for, I can't even tell you what, how many times I've done this. Um, and I was at a pretty low place in my life back in 2000, 2015, 2016. And it was at a point where things weren't going well in my marriage. Um, I wasn't too happy with my business. I'd lost a big client. Um, and I was just really kind of at my wits end. And I had heard about this, uh, the speakers, one of the, the books I was uh, reading. Actually, you can actually subscribe to their notes from the universe called tut.com, T-U-T, uh, uh, .com. And I was starting to get these notes from the universe. And um, he had a, a, a course, a 30-day course. So I decided to do it. And sometimes, you know, you know this stuff. I, I was doing all this stuff in my in my early 20s to mid 20s and created an amazing business for that, that lasted over a decade. However, I got to a point. Sometimes we, we, for, we forget to do stuff, uh, forget things that, that we know are beneficial to us. You know, we start um, kind of taking our foot off the gas pedal, not really focusing on the things that um, got us there in the first place. And so when we do that, um, guess what? Things don't always necessarily continue to work and roll the way they're, they're supposed to, right? And so we we all need reminders. We all need to to, to focus on um, on the things that help us to get there. You know, Ray Kroc said it best, when you're green, you're grow, when you're ripe, you're rot. You know, and at that point in my life, I was rotting because I, I stopped being green. I stopped learning. I stopped doing the things that got me to the success and the, and the life that I that I already created a couple decades prior to that. So um, I got clear and I started just kind of doing things on a, a little bit every single day. You know, five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes a day was what I was spending on this. And it kind of followed this, this path right here that I'm talking, showing you right now, getting clear about your priorities, picking and choosing two, three, four, five areas that were important to me that I wanted to make better in my life. You know, happiness, health, love, friendship, creativity, spirituality, adventure, abundance, uh, relationships, all those. There was a lot of different areas. I chose five. And what I did there is, is I created a theme. Now, the first uh, first theme I, I ever did was called magnificence. I kind of used that word magnificence, and that became part of my vocabulary. Um, the last one I just did was this called, I don't know if you can see this. It's called, I, I made a little little logo, Spectacular Squared was what I what I made the, the last one. And um, I started focusing on the different areas uh, of what that meant. Spectacular squared meant for me, creating a, a loving romantic relationship, health and a strong body, abundance, happiness, adventure, relationships with friends and loved ones. Um, and I, I really made that a priority. And I sat down, I started creating, getting excited about the details. And when you do this, don't worry about how. The how-tos don't matter. Don't get stuck in the house. You want to create the whys. Why is this important to you? What is it that's important? You can get excited about the details. Um, you don't want to focus necessarily, be, be locked in and, and just be like, it's got to be this way. Because then you kind of cut yourself away from the universe to be able to provide other avenues to bring to you what it is you want. So you got to kind of be loose about it a little bit. But Focus, get clear about the details and get excited about it because, um, you know, maybe you want to, you know, live on a Caribbean island like I do, you know, maybe, you know, but if you get so, so tied into you, it's got to be Barbados, but yet the universe knows for, for you, it might be better for you to be in, in Dominican Republic or Costa Rica, you know, so, so you want to get clear about what it is you want, but don't be so tied into the exactness of it that you, you you cut yourself off from the assistance that the, the universe is going to give you. Does that make sense? Feel free to jump off mute. I, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm not, you know, you have any questions, but does that make sense, Rick? Yes, absolutely. Lori, okay. If, yes, if, you, if, if you try to go too big and you get all caught up in everything. Right. You, you, you can go big, but just, you can't be locked into like, 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 like you, if you want to do relationship, right. And you want a loving relationship. You want it to be romantic, deep passion, connection, love, um, soul connecting, 
all passion, all those kinds of things. Oh. You can have that, but don't lock it in. Don't don't be like, okay, I want Mary Sue, and you cut. It's got to be Mary Sue. Well, guess what? She's got free will too. You can't make Mary Sue do something that she doesn't want to do. And guess what? Maybe Mary Sue is the right person for you, and the universe is going to connect you. But maybe not. Maybe it's somebody else. But if you just put it out there, what you're looking for, and let let the world, you know, do the little things every day, you know, make sure that your house is clean. Because guess what? If you're going to invite someone over, you got to have a clean house, right? You got you got you got you got to do simple things. You want to travel? Maybe get your passport renewed. You know, do little things that are going to kind of get you towards where you want to go, but don't get locked into how it has to happen. Let it happen. Does that make sense? Right. Got it. Okay, good. So then what you want to do is by when you get created in the details is sit down and, and, and get, get, get excited about it. Write down some things, you know, write down, you know, what, what, what excites you about that, you know, and, 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 and really, um feel that excitement feel that joy that happiness that love um that th th those things are are bringing to you and, and when you're when you see it in your mind your mind's eye when you're when you're writing it out and I, I encourage you all you know i know some people like to type things on their computer and whatnot and if that works for you you could go for it i'm a computer guy and for even for me when when i start writing things down when ink hits paper um, and you, use, you can use a pencil if you want to. That doesn't be ink. But you know what I'm saying? When you write it down, there's a connection that happens there. Something happens. It's magical. You know, it, maybe it's just the frequency. Maybe it's the universe. Whatever it is, it just seems to be much, much more powerful. So write yourself, write it down. Get details. And then surround yourself. You know, surround yourself. Once you've created a theme, um, and you know, here, I'll, 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 I'll read this to you. Um, when I created the theme of Spectacular Squared, I choose spectacular square because I built um, I built on the last on last year's spectacular theme and truly spectacular year. So many of my intentions and goals were achieved, um, and in and in, in a couple that weren't. So the seeds are planted and have occurred. And now I'm going to focus on you know going into more and I, I go into more details about high playing clients and the different things that were that did, did, did that occurred for me, which were amazing. So. You, you know, get really clear about the details. And as you can see here, you know, I, you know, I, I, I write down and write down and get clear. I guess, uh, here, you know what, I'm gonna, let me change this. I can't, uh, my visuals here, I'm going to uh, just do that. There you go. So, so you can, oh, oh no, it's, it's the blurs too. Okay, never mind. Oh, well, anyway, you get, you get the idea. Um, get detailed about about those things and and, and, and start writing them down um you know and then what you've done that when you want to start surrounding yourself showcase your inspiration you know hang up a list of your priorities that you wrote down uh the things that are important to you the areas in your life that are important to you hang up photos or quotes that inspire you on that uh, program on your phone or your computer to send out positive reminders each day Sign up for top.com and get a note from the universe every single day that just, you know, feeds your soul. Um, put a screensaver on your computer, whatever it might be. Um, remind yourself, you know, on a daily basis, you know, write down, you know, be adventurous. Try something new each day. You know, channel loving energy into everything you do. Make a vision board. Uh, I'm actually, I've done vision boards for years. I'm getting ready to do a new one because I, I, I'm at a place where I want to take things down to another level. So. That's what it's all about. And then once you've done that, start imagining and spend five minutes, five minutes a day imagining the day in the life you dream of living and see it, see what it is. What does your life look like when you wake up in the morning? And and what are you doing? And then, you know, how are you having breakfast? Are you what are you know, are you sitting on, on your deck on your veranda looking out, you know, uh, uh, over the beach on the island where you where you plant where you want to be, you know. Are you are you taking phone calls from advocates? Are you you know are you setting up a Zoom calls and because you know from your from your from your beach villa because you want to share this amazing opportunity and you're doing it you know to people all across the world because Bodex is, is a worldwide um, opportunity uh, business model. So whatever it is for you, spend time 
and then just visualize it. Close your mind and visualize that. Um, and then I would also encourage you to do one other step is visualize gratitude. Visualize people in your life that you're grateful for. Because when we come from an attitude of gratitude, we're able to multiply the things in our life. And, and I'm not talking about fakeness. I'm not talking about just you know making stuff up because you're trying to force the universe to do something. I'm being genuinely gratitude. That energy that you're putting out, that love that you're putting out to people. And, and, and you can even put the people that you, you've had an argument with. And you'd be amazed at how much, when you do that, that suddenly the next time you see that person, the argument doesn't seem so important anymore. And you're able to work things out much, much more smoother and easier than you thought. So focus with gratitude and send love to people that, that are important in your life. Send it to your, your teammates, you know, visualize your, each one of your advocates, seeing them being successful and reaching their whys and reaching their dreams of what they're looking to achieve in the, in the, in the Modexas. And then start taking actions. And even in the beginning of this baby steps towards your goals, you know, like I said, you know, if travel is a big thing for you, get your passport renewed. And if it hasn't been renewed, you know, start looking at brochures of where places you want to travel to, you know, have a screensaver, you know, put, put places on your vision board of places you want to travel to. Um, pull out a calendar and start jotting down. Okay. I plan on traveling to this place uh, over, over these, over this next 10 days and, and just make up, make a calendar of visualizing it. It may not happen that year, but guess what? It might happen the following year. It might happen that year. You never know. But if you don't do it, chances are it's not going to happen. You know, it's like a GPS. It's, it's, you got to tell, it's, it's, it, if you don't tell a GPS where you want to go and you don't get in your car and start driving, the GPS is going to help you. It's just going to sit there with a little bleep on the screen saying, look, this, you're right here. This is where you are. But if you put the car in drive and start moving towards where you want to go, yeah, you might take a couple of wrong turns. You might have to do a U-turn. You might, you know, miss, you know, but if you don't set where you want to go and then take action, go towards the, towards it, you're never going to get there. Does that make sense? Does anybody have questions? Lori, Tracy, Julie. Kathy? No, it's all great. Marcus, a hundred percent. Is it making sense? Oh yeah. Absolutely. I have, I, I have a lot of that in my house with, you know, uh, quotes or Bible verses to look at daily for reminders. That's fantastic. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. And when you're doing that, um, and then just, but just think about how can you expand on it? You know, if there are things that you still want to achieve in the world, um, then may, maybe you need to maybe um, start, you know, adding to it, you know, expanding it, you know, growing it, you know, um, evolving it to where else you want, what, what, what other things you want to do or other places you want to go, other people you want to meet, places you want to see, things you want to experience, um, goals you want to achieve within the, in your Modexus business. All of that is possible. Um, and you can do the same, same thing. So rule of 100, what is that? If you will spend 100 hours a year, again, that's, that's like, actually, it's, I think it's 14 minutes a day or 18 minutes a day. I apologize. I, it's, it's a typo. Uh, that should have been 18 minutes a day. Uh, 100 hours a year is 18 minutes a day at any discipline. It, I don't care what, it could be playing guitar, it could be karate, violin, recruiting, learning out of prospect, any, any discipline. By the end of that year, you will be better than 95% of the world in that discipline. It's all about consistency. It's, it's, it's about taking the daily method of operation, putting it into, pla in, 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 into play, and spending the time to, to master that. That's how it is. It's not about- I know, Go ahead. I'm sorry. I know when I started playing my guitar uh, every day, um, I was able to, to get a lot more accomplished with it for sure. Absolutely. I'm it's, it's a rule. It's, it's, it's a law. It works. The problem is 18 minutes doesn't seem like a lot, but guess what? It's easy to do. It's easy not to do. Jim Rohn said it best. An apple a day keeps the, the doctor away. What if that's true? It's not a Hershey bar a day. It's, it's, it's an apple a day. Is an apple a day easy to do? Yes, but it's always not to do. So it's about make, it's about the daily disciplines um, and, and making it a commitment to yourself, a commitment to what it is you want to achieve, a commitment to your family, your loved ones, the things, you, the people that you want to benefit in your life by the person that you're becoming. 
And uh, so that, that's, that is powerful. So the rule of 100 is, is so powerful. So Napoleon Hill, he's like you know, one of the masters of this. Um, keep your mind fixed on what you want in life, not on what you don't want. Um, that is so powerful. There was another book. Um, and now that I think about it, I just realized I, I left a book off the list that I'm going to share with you. I'll add it on there and make sure I send it to you. But when you focus on the things you don't want, you attract more of that in your life. But if you focus on the things you love, you're going to start focusing and seeing more of that in your life. So focus on the things that you want in life, what you love, what makes you happy, what brings you joy, that what fills your heart with just excitement and enthusiasm. That's what you want to focus on and get your mind fixated on it. And if you want to take this whole process to the next level, you know, Jim Rohn said it best. We're, we are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Spend time with other people that lift you up. Don't get rid of the negative people. Run from them. I run from negative people. I, 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 I honestly don't have time for negative energy suckers in my life. And, I, and I've eliminated a lot of them out of my life. Now, there's some people that might be family members that, you know, you just love them and they're your family. Well, guess what? You spend a few minutes with them. You don't spend days with them. Right. You know, you can you can be with them and, and, and love them and care about them without necessarily letting them drag you down. Um, surround yourself, creating a mastermind uh, of, of like minded advocates of who, where you want to go. Maybe you you're all on a path and you want to get to gold star, you know, or silver star, or platinum or whatever it is that you want. Get together. Start focusing on it. Start. Hey, what, what, what did you do this 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 week to help you get to God? What did you do today to move you closer towards your goal? What are you focusing on? What pictures are you seeing in your mind? What are you visualizing on? And you do that together. Guess what? You're all going to rise to the top. You're going to get there without a doubt. There's absolutely no question in my mind, in anyone's mind, that that won't happen. But you got to do the discipline. You got to spend the time. You've got to make the effort to do it. Do the easy things, even though consistently, and you will win out. You will win every single time. So let's talk about some things that are very powerful. If you want to live a top shelf life, then you need to stand on top of the books you've read. Never stop learning, never stop growing. Jim Rohn. And this is super important. So I've made a list of books here for you all. And these are all books that I have either read a good portion of it, read once. Some of them I've read multiple times. Some of them, a lot of them I've got on my audio, Audible because I have an Audible account. You can get, and I, I'm not saying you have to join Audible. I, this is something that I do. Um, on Audible, I join them. It's a monthly thing. I think I spend $14.95 a month, $14, and I get a credit and I can choose any audiobook I want. And then I and it adds to my library. And I've got hundreds. If I show you my Audible, you'd laugh. I mean, I've got literally hundreds of books on there that I listen to. Some of my I listen to even when I go to sleep because I know my mind is taking it in. And I'm, I'm I, and I've listened to it multiple times that way. And you it just you, you almost get it from osmosis. It's it's amazing. Sometimes I, I wake up and I can't fall back asleep. I'll put the audiobook on and guess what? I, it puts me right to sleep and I'm, I'm putting good stuff in my brain. Good in, good out, garbage in, garbage out. So think of a rich, phenomenal book. Read them multiple times. Three Feet from Gold. Um, I actually have the Audible book I've been listening to. And that's like a modern version of Think and Grow Rich. Um, I highly recommend it to everybody. Um, also, um, another book that's on the, sort of the bottom of the list. Where is it here? The Third Door by Alex Banyan. I've listened to it multiple times. That is also another a book that's very similar to a modern day version of Think and Grow Rich. Phenomenal. How to Win Friends and Influence People, Dale Carnegie. Huge, especially being in the people business, being a Modex's advocate. Power of Intention, Wayne Dyer. Questions are the answer. Alan Pease, we talked about that in the last masterclass. The Magic of Thinking Big, David Schwartz. Feel the fear and do it anyway. I remember in my uh, uh, first career in, in Starlight, I read that book and it was like, there were some things that were kind of holding me back and that book helped me um, plow through that. And I actually have the cassette tape. Uh, again, even before Audible, I was listening to cassettes and CDs uh, and, and because I, to me, that was, it was just faster. I, I love to read, uh, but I'm a slow reader. I like to go through it and just take my time. But when I'm listening to it, I get through things much faster. I listen to a tape series. I still have it in my library and um, it was great. You were born rich, but Bob Proctor, permission to succeed. No St. John. Oh my God. That is huge. Um, it's and, and and some of the things we've talked about here today, you might be you may have felt a little bit of resistance. If I shared something here that you know is true, but you felt a little resistance to it, whether it was visualizing, whether it was creating a vision board, whether it was 
sitting down and taking the time uh, and visualizing, uh, uh, you know, what the ideal day would look like, whatever, whatever it is. Um, chances are you've got some programming that needs, you need to clear out, get the cobwebs out of the brain. By that book, um, by Noah St. John, taught me a very powerful lesson, the difference between affirmations and affirmations. Um, and I actually pulled it up here. I wanted to get the, the definition. Affirmations is, the definition is, is our positive statements or declarations of desired outcomes that are often repeated to reinforce a specific belief or goal. And the approach is they're typically in the present tense and are designed to be self-affirming, promoting uh, a sense of confidence and positivity. Um, and it's usually used commonly to boost self-esteem, overcoming limiting beliefs, manifestation, manifest aspirations, things like that. Like example, I am confident in my ability and to attract success in my Modexus business. Well, if you're not if if you're if you're not congruent, if your mind is saying there's some resistance there and saying, your mind is, you might be saying it, your mind's going bullshit, that I call it bullshit, I, that ain't true. Well, there's a way to short circuit that, and that's what's called the affirmation. And the affirmation is uh, positive, empowering questions that are presupposed the desired outcome has already happened or come true. So in other words, if you if you pose it in a question, um, your mind can't override it. Your mind has to actually answer the question and it will kind of pull you towards what it is you're trying to achieve by the things that you're trying to say. So they're phrased as questions to direct the focus of the subconscious mind and stimulate it to seek supporting evidence. Um, so um, the usage is you know, to help, to help uh, challenge and reprogram limiting beliefs, enabling personal growth transformation. Example is, why am I so confident and successful in everything I do? Why am I so confident and successful in my Modexus business? Your mind will come up with a reason why um, or create circumstances that you'll experience that in your life. Huge, huge, huge. And I don't go through all, all, all these ones here, but they're phenomenal. And um, I would encourage all of you to start building your library. Jim Rohn said it best. Um, the books you don't read can't help you. And when I when I first saw my first Jim Rohn, I think I told you some of you that were in the master class last time. You know, I was in I I I I had a I stint in corporate America for about a year and a half. I will say it was a day short of a year and a half too long. But I was selling computers because computers was my thing. And the sales team from Jim Rohn's um, company came out and they were punching us on this this, this uh, weekend. It was actually uh, I think it was a, it was a three day seminar. And, um, but you had to go, it was the first night and you went for like three hours and um, I went, I was the only one out of like 10 guys that were there, guys and gals. I was the only one went, went, I loved it. I bought all of his tapes. I bought the whole, I think I spent like $700 for all these tapes and, and everything. And, Cause I'm like, you know what? This is amazing. This guy, and he says, you know, you want to be wealthy? The wealthy people have a library. You know, you start with your Bible. That's there's there's lots of books there, but you got to build build up build on that. So I did that, and I probably listened to that 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 one tape series, "Challenge to Succeed" in the '90s, so many times that I literally burned the, some of the tapes up. I had to buy another another set of cassettes. Now I have it on CD and uh, and also um, uh, on uh, Audible. But the point is, is that I I start I start feeding my mind, and it helped me to create a life that got me into Tony Robbins, that got me to master university, that got me to take that leap of faith, that got me to walk on the hot coals and over overcome my fears and create the life I designed, which then attracted the people in my life that introduced me to Starlight, which then helped me to attract the mentors and the systems that allowed me to create a life of my dreams. And th that's how it happens. One little thing after another, after another. And that's what these books are so powerful can do. So um, I can't high encourage you more Feed your, feed your mind. It isn't what the book costs. It what it will cost you if you don't read it or listen to it. So um, we've gone over a lot of things. We got about 10 minutes left here. Um, so I wanted to kind of bring it, bring it all back and realize and ask, first ask the question, does everything that I've shared with you make sense? Is it resonating with you? Are there nuggets here that you are going to be able to take today and start applying tomorrow to move you closer towards having an empowered mindset and help you to achieve the things that you want to achieve in your Modexus business.
Absolutely. You know, every every little thing that you can grasp a hold of can help. Thank you. Absolutely. I agree, couldn't agree more. Lori, is this resonating with you? I'm sure it does. I think oh, you're, yeah. 100%. You're on, on the same page. Wonderful. Just got to be committed and every day and put in the time. And it's it's not work when you love what you're doing. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I see Nora. Nora, you jumped in from Niagara Falls. Thanks for joining us. Is this all making sense to you? Um, are you resonating with it? Yes, yes, definitely. Imagine uh, when you look at it, it's like 100 hours, uh, but uh, when you break it down, it's only uh, 10 minutes per day. Yeah, so, exactly. I, that was the type of so 18, 18 minutes, 18 minutes a day. But yes, you're right on, you're right on, right on, right on the money there, without a doubt. Um, that's huge. Uh, well, fantastic. Well, I'm glad, glad this is making sense to everybody. And, and uh, I want these to be valuable. And we're going to be building on different things that we're sharing. But you know what? We started with mindset first. Why? Because if we don't have this stuff, we don't have the things between our ears order. Nothing we do out here is going to is going to work or work very well. So we got to get this squared. We get the mindset squared away first. Then everything else becomes so much easier. Um, mm -hmm. I, I really believe that we want to set up life for success. We want life to be, life doesn't need to be drudgery. Life needs to be exciting and, and happy and fun. We can make it fun, but we got, it only happens if we get what's going on in between our ears done first, which is why having an empowered mindset is so powerful. So good. I'm glad you're all resonating with it. I'm glad it's all making sense to you. Um, and uh, feel free. I know we're going to post this in the, in the, in the YouTube channel uh, for those of you that are, are going to watch the replay of this. Um, feel free to throw in questions in there. I'll be happy to answer those. Um, connect with me on LinkedIn. You know, always throw me a, a direct message. I'm glad to answer questions or, or you know, kick around some ideas, that sort of thing. Um, I love to doing that because it's all about teamwork. It's, it, teamwork makes the dream work. Um, mm -hmm. I know that is a huge um, philosophy that um, Randy and, and the Modexis team has put together for all of us. And I really uh, know that that's, um, you know, the way to win without a doubt. So let's let let's let, let's take what we've learned here and focus it into where we're at. So have you checked your rank um, in your Modex's back office? Have you logged in and looked at which looked at the rank advancement module and checked your qualifications? You know, are you close to rank advancing? You know, are you mm -hmm. close to hitting your lifetime rank bonus? Because um, there's a reason for that. Um, because there's you know there are bonuses. You know when you hit when you hit a rank. And I've never seen this in any other company out there, which is crazy. Um, mm -hmm. This is the kind of things that, that the, the little extra things that Modexis does that makes it so special and so different. You know, yeah. it's, it's not what you do. It's how you do it. It's how it's how they're doing stuff that is making this the, a company that you can plant your flag in and make it in a, in, into a lifelong career uh, because that's what they're that's what they're here for. So when you hit Silver Star, guess what? You earn hundred dollars when you, when you, when you hit that rank, if you, when you rank advanced to it, uh, when you hit gold star, you're it's $300. When it's platinum, it's $500. But more importantly, when you hit the, that lifetime rank, whatever, whatever rank you achieve, that becomes your lifetime rank. And when you achieve, when you, when you maintain that rank, and I've never seen this at any company, they, they're going to pay you a bonus just for maintaining what you're doing, not growing, mm -hmm. just maintaining. So when you hit silver star and you maintain that silver star rank, um, you get an extra $50 bonus on top of what you're already earning. That's huge. That's mm -hmm. $600 a year. If you, if you, if you qualify every single month, you mm -hmm. know, as a gold star, it jumps up to a hundred dollars. You know, you, you see the numbers here, you all, all the way up to, you know, uh, a Ruby executive at $350 uh, extra month bonus just for maintaining the rank that you've already achieved. That's huge. $350. That, uh, uh, that's that's uh, $4,200 a year extra. That's huge for any business. Um, so I, and the reason I show this with you is so many times people don't, they're not paying attention to it. And when you don't pay attention to it, um, you, you don't see it. And you could be $50 away from hit rank advancing or, or hitting your lifetime rank. Um, and you're going to miss a huge bonus by not being paid $50 short. So you want to be on top of these things. You want to see, you know, treat your business like a business and it will pay you like a business. And so checking your back office, checking your rank, seeing where you're at um, is huge. You know, and another thing I love about 
Modexis and their smart pay system is that in, in my company and, and Rick was there and a few others came from Starlight is that you, the only way to get the diamond is you have to build three gold legs. Didn't matter. You, you had to have three gold legs, three separate gold legs. And that was the only way to do it. Here, it's not like that. You could build, you know, one ruby leg and a bunch of silver legs. You can get this domain through just, just building silver star legs wide. There's lots of ways of doing it. They've made it so flexible that anybody can do it because so many comp plans, they lock you into it. It's got to be done this way. And if you don't do it this way, guess what? You're shit out of, shit out of luck. Sorry, you didn't, you, didn't, you, 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 didn't, you didn't make it. Try next time. That sucks. Who wants that? Excuse my French. I mean, I just tell you how it sees. I mean, that just sucks. But what they put together with the smart pay system is that there's flexibility. So you can build a bunch of silver star legs and, and then and hit the, the gold star, hit platinum, get to these other ranks and work with them. And then you work with the ones that want to work. So you build, you build a bunch because it's good. Guess what? You build 10 silver star legs, two or three, most likely law of averages, 80, 20, the 80, 20 rule, 20%. So two, two or three of those are going to go out and actually do something more. And they're going to make it happen. They're going to be like your leaders of your team. And then there's like 50 or 60% that you just got to work with them a little bit. And they want to, they'll, they'll get there. They'll, you know, they'll move forward. They'll make some things happen. You know, they don't want to be superstars, but they're happy with where they're at. And they're just going to continue taking the products and sharing them. And, and then that, that's cool. And we love them. We want to have tons of those. And then there'll be a few that just don't do anything. And guess what? You wipe, wipe your feet off the mat and walk, walk next. That's okay. You focus on the ones that want want to make it happen. You know, it's it's again, where are you putting your energy? Where are you putting your focus? Where are you visualizing? Where are you spending sending your energy to? Um, is is what is what it's all about. So I just wanted to bring that awareness to it because there's a huge, uh, that is just a huge bonus to the 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 the, the pay plan that uh, Randy and Modexis has put together, which uh, some people don't aren't, aren't aren't aware of. So that's kind of exciting, um, and. You know, if you're close, we have a three-day push right now. There's a huge growth opportunity in all markets. And if you haven't seen the posts on Facebook or on LinkedIn, is that there for the next three days uh, until the end of the month, 10% off of every product, every merchandise offering, all markets. So you you can buy a, a single bottle of longevity. You can, it could be a growth pack. It could be a yes pack. It could be a male balance, well, a balance pack, female balance pack. Whatever it is, and if any of those orders are over hundred dollars, you're getting a free bottle of Tranquility, uh, which is like an extra thirty-seven dollar value. Of it. So that is huge. So take advantage of this if you're close. You know, and well, the great thing about this is that this is good for all customers, all advocates, anyone with an account. So it's all about duplication. So call your advocate team, help them, help them rank, help them get to the next level. Um, help make sure that they hit their their all time uh, uh, their uh, lifetime rank achievement so that they get their bonus. Call your customer base, ten percent off. Hey, we got this new Probio balance. The 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 results, the testimonies are starting to come in. This thing is making huge difference, and we've only had product I, I think in, in the streets, um, you know, probably for what two weeks, maybe not even. Um, phenomenal, and, and to, to have the kind of results that are coming in are extraordinary. Um, so, you know, sharing that with them, maybe they want to, maybe, maybe, maybe you haven't talked to them about Probio Balance. It's a good reason to pick up the phone call. It's a good reason to pick up your team, call your team, connect with them, say, hey, did you hear that that uh, there's a 10% across the board off, over everything? Um, that's huge. It's a good reason, to, it's a reason to call people. That's what I love about all the different promotions and things that Randy and the team are, are putting together is because of the fact that it gives you a reason to pick up the phone call. It gives you a reason to call call your advocate team and 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 start a conversation and share. Ask them, hey, what what are your dreams? What are you trying to achieve? I would I would love to be I would love to be your advocate for you. I, I would love to be your support team. How how can I help you? You know, um, what what is it you're trying to accomplish? And help them do that. Have a conversation. You know, your customer base. You know, it's a good way to share some of the other products with them. Hey, get ten percent off. Give them a try. You know. And it's also good for new customers and new advocates as well. So if you got someone on the fence and they're going to sign up, guess what? You get a bonus, 10% off. Boom, done. And you don't have to put a promo code in or nothing. It's automatic. It's, it's already it's already been done in the system. 
So it makes it super, super simple. Um, so huge, 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 huge opportunity. Um, and then that leads us, let's close out the month because we are so close. We are a stone's throw away of hitting the best volume month and the and the highest uh, the, the best recruiting month of customers that we've ever had in the history of Modexus. So if we all work together as a team, we've done so much so so already in the month of September, we just push that little bit extra. Um, it, it's 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 going to be huge, and everybody wins. It's a win win for everybody. And then we have October, a brand new month. Guess what? And you know they've already got um, you know things happening. Uh, for October, will you be in the winner circle for October? Start thinking about it. Start visualizing it. If you made it, you know, if you made it, I know Lori, Rick, uh, Liz, you guys have already made it in there this month. Let's make it in there next month. Let's make that a habit. Make it a daily method of operation. Make that the visualization of where you want to go. Because guess what? If you're doing that, you're planting the seeds for advocates and customers uh, to become part of the team. And to, to help you help you reach those ranks, maybe you want to sh reach the silver star. You haven't gotten there yet, or maybe you're shooting for gold because you've been a silver star for a while, or you want to get to be a platinum, or maybe you, you want to make it to get that executive bonus and get to sapphire, and get that hat make that happen. This allows you to do that by getting in the winner circle by doing all these things, all these extras. These are all on top of the amazing comp plan they got together. Uh, all these extras that th that the companies put together for you to make it easy. So. Who's committed? So I want to see, uh, I want to see a show of hands. Who here is uh, committed to being in the winner circle in the month of October? Can I see a show of hands? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can I see? Can I? Can I? Can I see a yes? Or put up, put a number yes. one in the, in the chat if uh, if you're committed. Yes. 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 Beautiful. Love yes. It. And then it's about duplicating. If you've got team members on your team. Why not do it together? Get the energy, create a little mastermind yourself. Hey, let's 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 get in the winners, let's get in the winner circle together. Get one or two team team members to do, do the same. That's duplication. That's excitement. That's building the, the energy. That's building that mastermind that, that Napoleon Hill talks about uh, of, of getting to, together, achieving a goal together um, in Modexus. So that's what it's all about, and I'm excited. The, the 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 promotions for the Modex to the Move promotions are already out uh, for October. You can see what those are. Uh, but again, let's focus. This is here. And if some people say, well, you know, why should I push in? You know, again, it, it, there, there's that lack mentality and the abundance mentality. A lack mentality would say, oh, well, I, I have all this stuff in October I want to shoot for. I'm going to ease back and save it for October. I don't need, I don't need to push hard and close September strong. That's that's a lack mentality. You you don't want to be there. You want to have abundance. You want you you want to have that abundant mentality that hey I can I can put pedal to the metal for September, get the ten percent, get all my all my advocates, get my customers going, boom, and guess what October, I have so much abundance. I'm taking the momentum and I'm gonna I'm gonna crush it here in October as well. That's what it's all about. So yeah. um, I hope I've been helpful. I hope I've shared some things that have kind of. You know, made some light bulbs go on for you, maybe giving you some new ideas, some new ways of thinking about how to go about some things. Um, and if you have, I, I'll take this right now. If there's any questions or anything that you want to ask or something you want me to clarify or anything like that, let's do that now. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> <laughs> Did I Thank do that kind of job? I explained you everything were, perfectly. <laughs> you were great, Marcus. We really appreciate Thanks, your time Marcus. and everything. Well, good. It's my honor and pleasure. You know, I, I love Thanks I love with you guys, and um, and, you know, I you know, your success is my success. I love to see that. So, you know, bless you all, and um, have a phenomenal day. Take what take what we learned. Watch this uh, replay over and over again. You know, ingrain it. If you have questions about something, or if you want to sit down and have a conversation about how to lay out a thirty day plan with visualizing and, and doing all the things to set yourself up for success uh, for the long term for the next year's goals, I'm happy to do so. So just reach out and uh, we'll make that happen. All right. Okay. Thanks so much, Marcus. Thanks a Appreciate lot. you. Appreciate okay. you. Have a good night. Good night. Okay. God bless. Bye. -bye. See you.